So you want to buy a Sonics Subsonics jet. That's jet, as in jet, like an actual jet. Technically, it's a jet-powered aircraft, not a jet. Okay, thanks, nerd. It's a jet. The Subsonics is, without question, the least expensive way to get your posterior into a private turbine-powered flying machine and keep it there. Sure, once in a while, some dinosaur jet comes up on the classified ads that was already an antique when Sonics Company was founded and was built in a country you've never heard of and that the cost to acquire may be less. But once you do what is required to get that jet off the ground and you actually survive flying it around a bit, you'll find it doesn't take many $7,000 hamburgers to chew through any savings. The least expensive turboprop we covered on this channel so far was a Piper Meridian. The Subsonics, as we'll see, has a cost per mile of less than half. We covered two other single engine jets on this channel, the Cirrus Vision Jet and the L39 Albatross. Subsonics cost less than those by a similar or wider margin. Links to videos on those three planes in the description below. Though to be fair, this is not a Vision Jet. So what even is it? Well, it's a very small, very simple, jet-powered kit aircraft. It has one seat, one engine, retractable gear, VFR instruments, usually. It has enough fuel to run the engine for about two hours. It's recommended that you land before that time is up. For an airplane you build in your garage, it's exceptionally fast. For a jet, eh, it is a wonderful little airplane. Tremendous fun, and we're all better off that it exists. But to be clear, this plane is more in common with a motorcycle than a Cirrus Vision jet. But motorbikes are awesome too. If you want one, you'll need to go directly to Sonics. The second-hand market it remains non-existent to date. A little more than 50 kits have left the factory so far and a little more than 20 have left the ground. Your only option to buy it is the quick build kit. Lead time is about nine months and when you receive it you'll have on average 500 hours worth of elbow grease left to invest. Though there are a handful of third-party build assist companies out there if pulling rivets isn't your bag and that's all you need to do to get one. Oh also the 140,000 or so bucks. Insurance premiums aren't great and will depend heavily on your previous experience. Orthodontists who like expensive toys will receive a different insurance quote than retired F-16 pilots. It's easy to hang her. Takeoff power will guzzle 30 gallons per hour, but comes down to about 19 or so once you get up to speed and altitude. Now the engine, a PBS TJ100 turbojet, built in the Czech Republic. It has been around for just about 15 years and it's quite modern. It's FEDA controlled, so you just have one lever to worry about. Maintaining it between overhauls is limited to changing the oil. The overhaul situation is like this. TBO is 300 hours. When that time comes, you pop the engine off its little pedestal, slap it in some bubble wrap, and drop it in a shoebox, along with 30000 of your USD dollars, and send it home to Chiksa Republica. It's just 45 pounds. It's not that big of a deal. They'll return it with a fresh overhaul. Now, here's the rub. The engine has an estimated lifespan of 900 hours. So does that mean after 900 hours, you throw it out and buy a new one? Well, if you ask PBS that question, they say we don't actually know. But that's not as weird as it sounds. New experimental airplane engines often start with lower TBOs, and then they creep up over time as more and more engines reach high times and there's more data about maintaining them. So time will tell with this engine too. Outside of the engine, maintenance costs are very minimal. Underneath it all, it's a classic old Sonics. Nothing much to maintain, especially with no piston engine bolted on the front. Changing brakes and tires and cleaning off the bugs and drool of other pilots. Gross. Sonic sets the bar in affordable aviation. The price for performance is unmatched in their Sonics, YX, and 1X. I'm not sure about their motor glider, to be honest. I never looked into it. Gliders sort of freak me out. Going flying without an engine is like going water skiing without a boat. Motor gliders have motors. Yeah, that's fine. It's not the point. The point is that they did it again with the Subsonics. If you can afford a 30-year-old Cessna 182, then you can afford a brand new Sonic Subsonics jet-powered aircraft. That's the Subsonics. Thanks for watching. See you in the next.